someday. In the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, March the 29th. Wow, March winding down. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. There's a look at the Skycam network from Birmingham as we focus in on Regents Field where the Birmingham Barons played the Chicago White Sox last night to a pretty large crowd of 8,513 folks. Unfortunately, the rain held off. The streets of Jasper are uh, wet this morning. However, the rain has ended in that area for the time being, but there's still a little bit of rain in northwest Alabama. We're dealing with a surface low that is moving across the uh, Tennessee River Valley this morning and will be up into eastern Kentucky by noontime or so. And uh, that producing a good uh, amount of rain across the area with a good rain shield, especially over southeastern Alabama, but also a little bit of wraparound precipitation, much lighter precipitation across the no northwest quadrant of the state of Alabama. In the upper atmosphere, this is all thanks to an upper trough that will be moving across the central Mississippi River Valley during the day today, and that should be ending the precipitation from the west, and we should see some peaks at the sun by this afternoon. Temperatures across the country are not too bad for this time of year when you consider that it is uh, you know, still uh, pretty chilly across the northern central part of the United States, where they got some minus values up there. But for the most part, uh, a lot of the U.S. in reasonably mild temperatures. Fairly mild across the southeastern United States. We typically see lows in the mid-40s, and this morning most of the temperatures across central Alabama are in the mid and upper 50s. Looks like we're headed for highs in probably the mid and upper 60s. Rainfall over the next five days is going to be somewhat limited, uh, and that's good because we've had uh, on the order of two to three inches across much of the area thanks to the two rounds of wet weather that we've had. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk for severe thunderstorms across southeast uh, Georgia and parts of the Florida Peninsula for today. And after that, no slight risk areas. All right, this is the 06Z GFS model run for this morning. And uh, there goes our surface low uh, up into the southern Appalachians by uh, early this afternoon. And along with that comes the, the upper trough that will be moving through the Ohio River Valley today and into tonight. And that will be sweeping much of the uh, rainy weather out of our area. And as it does, it brings in a ridge from our west. And that ridge is going to be pretty strong for the next several days as we head into the Sunday. Uh, we see the surface high settling down across the lower Mississippi River Valley by Monday, that ridge has uh, pumped up nicely into the eastern Great Lakes, almost acting like a shield uh, because that traveling system coming out of the central Rockies can't push much into that ridge, so it's deflected across and stays well to our north. That uh, short wave moves up into the western Great Lakes by Tuesday, and then we see it again uh, moving into the eastern portions of Canada. But in the meantime, on Wednesday, but in the meantime, the ridge is very strong over our area, so we stay in good weather. It's not until Thursday that we begin to have concerns about the approach of that next trough coming out of the southern Rockies and coming out of the Four Corners area. And uh, that trough looks like it's going to be strong enough to um, knock the ridge down just a little bit. Uh, with it, we have a surface low over the Oklahoma panhandle and, of course, a bit of a front stretching down into Texas. That uh, trough and a little closed low moves up into the southern Great Lakes on Friday, and I think Friday is the day that we will see the greatest chance for rain as the surface low moves up towards Chicago and the front drags down into the area. The problem is, of course, that it's fighting that uh, the upper system is fighting that ridge, so the bottom line is there's not going to be a lot of push. So the uh, upper closed low moves into uh, southeastern Canada and uh, the ridge holds a little bit. And as a result, the frontal boundary stays in our area. Now, the GFS and the European are in pretty good agreement on much of this. 
The European a little bit drier on this particular uh, position and frontal uh, system, but the GFS keeping us a little bit unsettled. And I kind of like the idea of being a little unsettled with at least some scattered showers uh, for next uh, Saturday. Going out into voodoo country, that next system brings a nice trough into the eastern United States on the 7th, and that could spell a, an interesting round of severe weather. It also spells an interesting round of several days of rather coolish weather as the pattern becomes dominated by a um, trough over the eastern half of the country. So that pattern, if indeed this is what uh, develops, this pattern looking somewhat coolish. We get out to the very end of the period, around 372 hours, and this is the 13th of April, and we see another strong trough moving through the Ohio River Valley, and that also could spell another round of potentially severe weather. But you know, it's voodoo country, and we kind of look more for the trends than anything else. Well, thanks for tuning into the, the uh, Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning around 8 a.m. or so, or at least by 8 a.m. In the meantime, I hope you have a great Saturday and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>